How's it going guys, Jacob here. Today we're checking out the Moog Mini Moog from Universal Audio. Now it's perhaps undisputable that the Mini Moog is the most iconic synthesizer of all time. I mean, we're talking about songs from Kraftwerk to Parliament, Yes, Dr. Dre. You've heard these fat, musical, awesome sounds for such a long time, decades of music. We all know this instrument, we all know the sounds, and again, UA has outdone themselves by capturing this instrument beautifully. But before I get started, I want to let you know that for the first time ever, this is really cool, these plugins will work in any major DAW with any audio interface and it's available to purchase individually. This goes for a whole collection of UA plugins, which includes mixing and mastering tools, virtual instruments, and more. So if you want to check those out, click the link in the description below. This plugin was actually a partnership between Moog Music and Universal Audio, and they thoroughly captured every nuance, every little quirk that the original had. You've got expertise in circuit modeling, synthesis, and signal processing that went into this. You've got real-time textures, near zero latency, very low latency. Moog's signature self-oscillation, extreme resonance, ultra realistic and responsive sounds. You've also got custom mods, including switchable note priority, legato, extra LFO, and even more. So if you're someone that is a veteran of synths, you know this instrument, perhaps you had one back in the day when they were new, you will use this plugin and be shocked. But it's also great for beginners if you're new to synths and learning how to craft your own sounds, in part because it has some amazing presets. And if we go over to the plugin right now, I can just go through a few of them and you'll hear some of these great sounds that can come out of this. You've got legato. But if I separate each note. Let's just go through. So you've got different types here. Lead sounds, of course. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Using the mod wheel. And just a quick look at what you've got here. You've got oscillator one, two, and three, your mixer section, modifiers, controllers, where you can set the glide time. Oh, I love it. Of course, your classic modifier, you can set cutoff frequency. Ooh, filter emphasis. Contour, and of course your attack, decay, sustain. turn off decay. Now you have a simpler sound. Turn up the sustain level, it's good for a lead sound. Let's check out some more sounds. If you have headphones on, you can really hear some more nuances. There's a lot going on with this one. That decay, the low end of that decay, gosh, beautiful. Some 
some bass sounds. It's a big thing. Get some really nice fat basses on this. Definitely a ode to craft work here. like that one. Parliament. Amazing. Let's check out the best of section. That has a lot of really nice sounds. Oh, we've got a chord going on. How about that? Vibrato on there sounds nice. Other categories, drums. Ooh, this will be good. Ha ha! There we go. Amazing. You've got different intervals here. If you have the oscillators tuned right, you can get different intervals and chords. Now it's a minor triad. <laughs> I'm digging that. All right, now that was just a taste of the Moog Mini Moog. If you've got any questions about it, please put those in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.